Hi, this is Christina from the guardianindianmom.com. Today's book review is on Charlotte Mason Volume 2 from the Home Education series. In Volume 2, Charlotte Mason talks about parental responsibilities and education. In the first part of the book, she talks about parental responsibilities and roles and everything that comes with it. like habit training discipline and such and i'm going to be sharing a few good quotes from this part of the book she starts this volume by quoting ft morris who says the family is the unit of the nation we all know the impact that a family has on a child the positive and the negative that can happen that is why the family plays a huge role in the bringing up of a child Charlotte Mason respected the unique personality of a child and she believed a child was a person by themselves and not a clean slate uh, in which things could be filled up or a clay which could be made into a pot she believed and respected the child as a unique person and here is a quote on that she said children are born persons they are not born either good or bad but with the possibilities for either good or evil charlotte mason encourages us to be inspirers and not modelers because we may fail to be good models at times but we can always inspire our children towards greatness she talks about the role of a parent the role of the parent is to nurture the talents and the strengths of the unique child and here is a quote on that the duteous father and mother on the contrary who discern any lovely family trait in one of their children set themselves to nourish and cherish it as a gardener the peaches he means to show she placed a high value on character training because not everyone can be great in arithmetic not everyone can be great in science but everyone can strive to be great in character so here is a quote on that from her disposition intellect genius come pretty much by nature but character is an achievement the one practical achievement possible to us for ourselves and for our children and all real advance in family or individual is along the lines of character our great people are great simply by the reason of their force of character that all real advance in family or individual or nation is along the lines of character regarding discipline she says discipline does not mean a birch rod nor a corner nor a slipper nor a bed nor any such last resort of the feeble the sooner we cease to believe in merely penal suffering as part of the divine plan the sooner will a spasmodic resort to the birch rod die out in families it is very very important for us to analyze the motive behind discipline any kind of discipline and uh, it needs to be for the betterment of the child and that needs to be the highest goal of discipline here again she talks about the importance of habit training and i have mentioned this before habit training plays a very very important role in parenting training our children in good habits is very very important uh, because that's going to be with them for life and here is a quote on that she says as has been well said so an act reap a habit so a habit reap a character so a character reap a destiny and a great function of the educator is to secure that acts shall be so regularly purposefully and methodically sown that the child shall reap the habits of the good life in thinking and doing with the minimum of conscious effort 
this is it for me until next time see you bye